everybody. Hello. Welcome to another Facebook Friday. It's another Freely Cheap Friday, the day after Thanksgiving. Hope you, hopefully you guys all had an awesome Thanksgiving. Here I am. I'm, I feel like I'm always adjusting. Sorry, my hand. Oh, with my icky cut too. Maybe you can't even see that. Hopefully not. So yeah, so hopefully everybody had a great Thanksgiving, right? Hey, Angie, how are you doing? I'm glad you can join us. Yeah, I was just saying, um, so yesterday I was cleaning like a big glass like platter um, in the sink and it slipped out of my hand and somehow it broke and then the jaggedy edge like cut the inside of my hand. So as I was just adjusting things, I'm like, oh, and you know, it's really not that serious. Hey, Philomena, I didn't have to go get stitches or anything, but it was one of those like, ah, kind of annoying because we were like still like preparing um, Thanksgiving dinner. So <laughs> I had to be careful not to you know, get any blood in any of the food, which sounds disgusting, and I totally did not let that happen, so don't let me, like, gross anybody out, so, yeah, but hopefully everybody had a great Thanksgiving. I'm so glad you guys can join us. I know probably lots of people, hey, Nikki, are out um, shopping for Black Friday. My daughter um, just sent me a message saying, I'm on a, the American Evil website, and there's so much good stuff on sale. You have to check it out, so I'm like, okay, <laughs> after we do Facebook Live, we can um, check those things out, so I'm like, oh, but seriously, right? There's always going to be a sale from now till like Christmas Day and then even after Christmas there will be sales so we will yeah got some Christmas shopping to do as I'm sure lots of you do too but yeah hopefully everybody had a great Thanksgiving yesterday uh, just so nice um we made pumpkin cookies that was a fun thing like an extra thing that I wasn't planning to do I've been wanting to do it for weeks and weeks and all the ingredients have been sitting out on my counter hoping to um, get those made so finally yesterday before everything got going we were watching um, the parade on TV and making some pumpkin cookies so that was fun so yeah but hopefully everybody had a great Thanksgiving just relax and able to enjoy yourselves hopefully not stress out too much with the cooking and prepping and cleaning and all of that so um, yeah but it's you got all day to do it right so yeah um, so let me see what else do we have going on oh one thing before I forget, I want to let everybody know, next Friday, which is the 6th, Friday, December 6th, um, my daughter Lily is dancing down in Detroit all weekend, and they, she needs to be there at like noon on Friday, and I was like, that doesn't work for my schedule, <laughs> but you know, they don't, they don't check with moms on all of those things, right? So hey, Linda, happy Thanksgiving to you and your family as well. Thank you, thank you. So yeah, so my point is I gotta be, we'll already like, we'll be down in Detroit at about the time Facebook Live is supposed to be happening. So we're not gonna do Facebook Live next Friday, December 6th. So we'll be back on, on Friday the 13th. Friday, December 13th will be our next Facebook Live. So just wanna make sure everybody knows that, that we won't be doing it next week, the first um, Friday in December, but we'll be back the following week so thank you and i appreciate your patience with that i was actually thinking am i going to do a facebook live today or not but then when i realized i can't for sure do it next week and i kind of arranged some things on the calendar today so i could make sure to do facebook live today so thank you guys everybody for joining us anybody that's new that's joining us for facebook live thank you so much for for watching now or watching later on the facebook group or on our youtube channel i really appreciate all of your views and your comments and your shares so thank you it's and it's always fun to welcome new friends to come hang out with us too so welcome and welcome new friends um let's see so oh oh i know what i have to tell you guys about the year end what are they calling it i gotta make sure yep the year end closeout sale starts and it is yeah it's next tuesday december 3rd i know it was december 3rd i'm like what day of the week is that but it's tuesday december 3rd the year end closeout sale and i wrote down i was like i gotta make sure i get this right and i knew i couldn't remember all the like wording so this is exactly from our stampin up website what stampin up said we are going to save big on a selection of retiring and surplus items, including holiday catalog items, stamp sets, and past paper pumpkin kits. So shop early so that you don't miss out, and the sale ends on January 2nd. So I have a feeling that's kind of, um, we're gonna kind of learn what the retiring items are from the holiday catalog at that point as kind of in conjunction with the sale. If I remember correctly from last year, my memory's a little foggy, you know, last year's a long time ago. But anyway, basically mark your calendars. That's the day you're gonna wanna hop on to stampinup.com and do your shopping, right? Tuesday, December 3rd, they'll have the list of everything that is, um, yeah, basically 
holiday, including holiday catalog items, stamp sets, and past paper pumpkin kits that are going to be on sale. Yes. And I know, I mean, this is like the whole like hubbub kind of crazy this time with all of our shopping, right? But make sure if there's anything that you're really wanting from the holiday catalog, especially because um, those items will start selling out. Get those, do either do it now if you're not worried about getting the sale price or wait and do it first thing Tuesday morning. Get on there and order what you want because some of those things will sell out really quickly. So, okay. Um, but yeah, that's going to be a fun sale all the whole month of December. Or tell your family maybe if you want some Stampin' Up! products for Christmas, tell them to hop on to StampinUp.com. You can give them a little wish list. I'll give you, we have a new host code um, for December. I'm going to start it a little bit early. Um, and honestly, whichever host code you use, the one that's on my blog right now that's through November or the one that I give you, either one, I will um, count you in the drawing on uh, Friday, December 13th. Um, and I'll show you what we're going to give away and all that fun stuff in just a little bit. So, hey, Lisa, yes, finally you're able to catch the live from Wisconsin. Thank you so much for joining us. I know I see your comments later, but yeah, this is fun that maybe um, you have the day off today. So very cool. I know this is the start of like crazy, weird time, right? Where like people are off um, other days than they normally would be, which is really fun. So yeah, I love this time of year, getting very excited. We're actually... Um, <clears throat> excuse me, going shopping. This is a tradition we started, I don't know, like probably four or five years ago. Where So I live here in Alma in Michigan, and then um, I have a cousin that lives in Bay City, which is not too far, maybe an hour from here. So hey, Denise, I'm glad you can watch the live too. And Nancy, hello. Thank you guys, everybody, for joining us. Um, so anyway, all of my girl aunts and cousins, we all get together and head over to Bay City, and they have a bunch of really cute, like, kind of Christmas shops. They're not even um, nurseries, actually. A couple of them are like flower, like nursery kind of things, and then they go all out for Christmas. So it's really fun to just kind of wander through these stores and check out all the um, pretty, like, Chris. I, I don't know, it's all about Christmas right now, right? So, and I'm always like, I have to get my Christmas decorations out so that I have like a little list of, oh, maybe we could fill in with a little something here or there. Don't get too much, but, um, and it's a great time to start shopping um, for my family too for Christmas because Lily comes with me. So I should say aunts and cousins and daughters of cousins, we all um, go shop and then we eat dinner and just kind of hang out and visit and catch up because we don't do way back in the day. I have a, a very large, my dad has a very large family. We used to all get together for Thanksgiving and now, you know, people have gotten older and branched out. So this is kind of our time to all get together today and catch up on things. So, oh, and you've got, you're watching your granddaughter today. Ah, uh -huh. till 2 a.m. shopping. Oh, it isn't it fun? Everybody has these neat traditions um, that we can all kind of enjoy this time of year. So good for you, Lisa. I hope you've got lots of good deals if you are out till two o'clock in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> that is crazy. I've never done like the super early morning Black Friday. That, I don't know. I guess I've always been like, I'm not standing in line. Like I'm not putting a tent up. I'm not like freezing, like standing out in the cold, you know, to get into anywhere. I don't even know if they really do it quite like that anymore. But, and then like the crazy crowds. I'm like, I'm not a crowd person. So good for you if you were out there like busting through the crowds. That, that's, it can be fun, I'm sure, right? So, <laughs> so nice. Yes, very, yes, you're right. Yes, Lynn, it's so nice to have traditions. Yeah, so, okay. Um. Let me see, you know, I got my little list here as always. Oh, the other thing I wanna let you guys know, if you are a current Paper Pumpkin subscriber or if you decide you wanna subscribe by December 10th, um, and actually they're talking about, it's a really cute kit and it is called the Something for Everything kit. This is gonna be the kit that's gonna ship out in December. So make sure if you're interested, if you've ever wondered about Paper Pumpkin, I actually had a gal that was just at my scrapbook class this week um, that wants to get it for her granddaughter for Christmas. So this is perfect timing. She became a Paper Pumpkin subscriber, so she'll get her December kit. Now they did say, and these kits, because they're super busy in the warehouse, are gonna ship a couple of days later than they normally would ship. So just kind of keep that in mind. If you're a current subscriber and you know about the date that you normally get the kit, it could be a couple of days later than that. But I feel really confident that it will be before Christmas. So you should be able to order the December kit subscribe by December 12th or 10th, excuse me, December 10th, 
and then you'll get the kit in time for Christmas. You can wrap it up and give it as a fun gift. And in the case of the gal that came to my scrapbook class, she's decided she's gonna be actually be a subscriber, so she's gonna get this month's kit. And then if her daughter or granddaughter loves the kit, then she's gonna keep getting it for her for the next few months. So um, that's something you can think about doing. You can get like a one-time subscription just for one month. You could do it for three months, six months, 12 months, or you can just kind of keep it ongoing until they say, okay, I think we're good. So lots of different options with paper pumpkin. But what I was starting to say too, all this, um, Something for Everything kit is what they're calling the kit for um, December's Paper Pumpkin. And basically it's like a whole huge stamp set, 13 different sentiments in the stamp set. And you get the idea. I'm sure there's gonna be like birthday, thank you, thinking of you, sympathy, get well, you know, that whole range of, and I don't know for sure, you know, I'm just saying 13 different sentiments. So it's gonna kind of be a good sprinkling for all different um, occasions that you might need a card. And the kind of graphic that they're using looks like kind of fun floral too so I'm hoping um, they're like fun floral cards and they are you're gonna get 12 full-size cards for each of three different designs so they're starting to give us a little bit more information on the paper pumpkin kits it used to be just like a total blind surprise and now I think they kind of want to tease us a little bit more um, in, in hopes that more people subscribe so hey Susie how are you I'm glad you can join us um, so yeah, let me know if you have any questions. I would love if you don't already have a demonstrator when you sign up for Paper Pumpkin, if you would select me, Amy, F-R-I-L-L-I-C-I -I -I in Alma, Michigan, if you would select me as your demonstrator, I would truly appreciate that. So thank you guys. And then let me know if you have any questions on Paper Pumpkin too, because they're super cute kits. I love the little boxes that come in the mail every single month. It's just this little like moment, this Christmas moment every single month, basically. So. Okay, I think we are ready to do our first drawing. We have, this is our Seaside Spray Metallic Ribbon. You can see the beautiful metallic -y. I've got like a glare. Where can I move? There, that's about right, right? To not get our glare. Seaside Spray, this is one of our current, um, our most recent in colors, one of the 2019-21 in colors in a beautiful metallic. Great, um, it goes with all of that, feels like the frost paper just beautifully. Um, and it's gonna be great for um, kind of winter and springtime projects too. So I'm shaking names around in here. Your name went into your, if you, oh look, my ring is almost Seaside Spray too. How about that? I did not plan that, ladies. Um, let's see, your name goes in here if you shared the video. So make sure to do that anytime between now and next two weeks from Thursday, December 12th, um, as long as you share any time between now and December 12th, your name, you can share as many times as you want, your name goes in the drawing. And then also if you're new to me and have just signed up for my email list, or if you haven't yet, go ahead and do that. Um, there are links at um, gatheringinspiration.com on my blog um, to, um, <clears throat> excuse me, to the Facebook group, to our Facebook page, um, to YouTube to subscribe if you haven't done that, and then um, to sign up for my email list. So, okay, we got a bunch of entries in here. We are gonna shake these babies around and see who the winner is. Okay, let's see, can you hear? Lots of names in here. You guys did lots of sharing and I really appreciate that, so thank you. Oh, Miss Becky White, which I know she usually watches um, and shares later, Facebook Live. She watches Facebook Live later, and I always see her say um, that she's watching later, and she shared. So very good, Miss Becky White. If uh, Becky, if I do not, you know what, send me, send me a private message or email me your um, address because I don't think that I have your address, and I want to get this sent out to you. You have two weeks to claim your prize, okay? So that Seaside Spray Ribbon. Congratulations, Miss Becky. Okay, <clears throat> I have this tickle in my throat. It's kind of annoying. Um, okay, so let me show you guys what we are gonna give away this week. Well, on December 13th, I'm always confused about that. So share the video, sign up for my email list, and your name is gonna go in the drawing to win. I love, this is the Real Red Curly Ribbon. You guys are very sweet. Your congratulations to Becky. Um, so the Real Red Curly Ribbon, and if you remember, I think I showed these cards, right? Um, with the Real Red Curly Ribbon, you can kind of see the fun ribbon um, right there. These are gonna be great to this ribbon for um, wrapping Christmas presents too, I think. Um, adding um, them onto a little gift bag, making a gift tag. Um, so super cute, real red curly ribbon. So share the video, sign up for my email list, and your name will go on that drawing. Um, and then you might win that ribbon as well. So, um, okay, and I'm trying to, sorry if I, 
I'm doing all right on time. I'm trying to make sure that I, I said I got to leave by 1.30 today and I want to have my Facebook Live done and have everything posted and everything everywhere. So I'm like, okay, I got to stay right on track so that um, I can be on time to leave too. So I'm like running through everything. Okay, so okay, now we are going to do the next drawing. And let me show you guys, especially if you're new to Facebook Live. So this next drawing that I do is for a giveaway that I do every single week. So this is a package of the night before Christmas designer series paper. These, including the ribbon then, this paper is part of the super cute pack of designer series paper. So if you put an online order in and use the host code, um, like I said, either the one that's right now at gatheringinspiration.com or the one that I'm gonna give you in just a few minutes, either host code, it's not gonna matter, um, your name goes in the drawing to win what I'm gonna show you in just a sec, right? You also get the cards that I demonstrated. So people that put online orders in last week are gonna get both of these cards that I demonstrated that were also featuring more of that um, Night Before Christmas designer series paper. And if they ordered at least $50, they get a package of, oops, and those things keep moving. I thought I had a pack that I must move these when I when I move them around. Anyway, these are the um, fun little star designer elements. So order online through me and you get lots of good stuff and then your name goes in the drawing too. So, okay, this week we are gonna do that drawing and I had just a couple. You guys, your odds are really good because I don't have too many online orders these days. I'm hoping one day I'm gonna be big time ladies and I'll have this thing full, but not right now. So right now take advantage because your odds are really, really good of winning these drawings when you put an online order in. Okay, so here we go. We are gonna draw a name. I've got one name in my hand and it goes to Miss Rosemarie Holshue. There we go, if I get that right in there like that. So, Rosemary, I will have your designer series paper down at the studio for you to pick up along with the cards that I uh, demonstrated last week. So congratulations, Miss Rosemary. And okay, so this week, now I have something really fun to share with you guys. We are, let me make sure, let me get this here. Um, I'm actually gonna give away two. I, I don't think I did this on accident, honestly. I have two of these greatest part of Christmas, right? I'm trying to read it backwards. Hey, I can actually hold one up here, right? So I have two greatest part of Christmas stamp sets. These are host stamp sets, okay? So unless you put an order in of at least $150, you cannot get these host stamp sets. So from our holiday catalog, at the very, very back, it kind of shows host um, rewards, right? Actually, well, this is just more graphics about hosting a party, right? And then our host rewards right here. So host rewards start with a $150 order. You get 10% of your order. So in this case, if you put in a flat $150 order, you get $15 in free stuff. Um, you can use your host rewards to get these host stamps. So these are the two host stamps in the holiday catalog. There are like five or six or seven host stamp sets in the annual catalog you can also get. Um, this is the only time you can get the host stamp set is with your host, your free host rewards. You cannot buy these stamp sets. So what's Linda saying? I can attest to that. <laughs> Thank you for all the goodies, yes. Yeah, you've done a good job. Thank you, Linda. And I appreciate your um, ordering online through me too. I, I do, I truly, truly appreciate that. So thank you. I love, I mean, I can get most of this stuff, um, honestly, as free host benefits when I put orders in. So it's a great way for me to give back to you guys as well to say thank you for your orders too. So thank you, thank you, thank you. So anyway. Okay, this week, uh, here, let me, I'm going to do it like this, right? So I'm going to hold one and I'm going to read. So we have Christmas greetings is the huge sentiment. I love these huge sentiments are great. Perfect, like in something like this, maybe when you've got um, like a fun designer series paper that you're going to put all over the card and then just pop a big sentiment on there and that's all you need to do. Super simple, right? Other great sentiments on here though. So I'm going to read these straight down. I'm going to read here and then I'm gonna read here so you guys can kind of see what I'm doing here. So we have, may the Christmas season bring you special moments and happy memories. That's really sweet, huh? Wishing you a Christmas of love, of smiles and love that will last all year, right? That's a good one too. Um, happy Christmas to all and to all a good night. And I love, can you guys see? So that's this one, my hand is kind of covering um, the little detail that they put on that sentiment too. Okay, so starting over here on this side we have, this one says, may the Yuletide season be filled with joy. And the greatest part of Christmas is the time spent with those we hold most dear. 
That's a good one. Here is to the new year bringing happy beginnings. And then two more. Thanks for being, oh, these are down at the bottom here. Thanks for being one of my greatest gifts. That's awesome, right? And then thinking of you at Christmas time. So just a beautiful stamp set. And I know these are maybe a little bit, you know, you're going to get them pretty close to Christmas. So it might just be a fun Christmas present to yourself. Maybe you give it to someone else as a Christmas present. Maybe keep it in your stash and you can use some of these fun sentiments on next year's Christmas cards too. So anyway, yes, your name will go in the drawing if you put at least a $30 order in online. Your name will go in the drawing to win that greatest part of Christmas stamp set. And I'm gonna, I hope I have at least two online orders because I wanna give both of those stamp sets away, okay? And then what else? You're gonna get the projects so I'm gonna demonstrate in just a minute. And starting in December, if you put an online order into December, and this is a hodgepodge pack here because this is all I have, but these are the new um, champagne rhinestones. I think I showed you guys these last week, um, but these are what I kind of, this is what I got to take home with me from on stage. I've ordered, or I will be, on December 3rd when I can put my pre-order in, I'm going to order a bunch of packages of these. So anytime you bump your order up to $50, you're going to get a package of these champagne rhinestones in your order too. So, okay, I think we are, I have to check, I just have to do a quick double check here to make sure, but I think, yeah, yeah, I think we're good. Okay, so we're gonna turn, you're gonna turn your head away for a sec. <laughs> Those are great sentiments, aren't they, Linda? Okay, let me get myself organized here. I'm gonna pull this new host code out too. So like I said, you can start using it today even. It's already up and ready to go. Um, yeah, okay, so turn your heads away and we are gonna flip the camera down and make some cute cards with our product of the week, right? Which is, okay, flip in. There, okay. Why does that always happen? It's like I'm, <laughs> what if I move this? There. I don't like you guys to see the legs of my mount on my, for my, <laughs> for my camera. There we go, okay. That's pretty good, right? Okay, so here's the new host code, the 3HQ4GTQE. And that's just a whole jumble, jumble of letters and numbers. I always try to memorize that. <laughs> and this one is not gonna be very easy. Last, last month was a little bit easier, or November's was easier. But this one, like I said, is just a jumble of letters and numbers. But it will be right here. It will be on my blog starting on December 1st as well. So, okay. All right, let's see. What do I want to show you guys? Actually, hold up, hold up. I want to grab my grid paper too so we can get making our projects. Okay, there, you guys can still see that. We've got that there. Okay, good, right? Okay, so the first project I want to show you, actually, hold on, let me back up because we are using the product of the week, our two every season stamp set. So if you guys haven't checked this out, because it's in the back of the catalog, and now and I know a lot of times by the time we get to the back of the catalog, we, our list is so long that maybe we kind of flip through those last few pages. But this is such a cute stamp set with all the fun images and then the sentiments with a number of different holidays in mind, right? So we've got Merry Christmas, Happy Halloween, a Be Mine, Love You, and there's a Boo, an XOXO. Uh, thankful each day for you, you're so sweet, thank you, let it snow, and Happy Valentine's Day. And then a bunch of fun images that kind of coordinate with those sentiments, plus the fun little punch pack. Let me grab these out here. We are going to use one of them. So this is the little punch pack that coordinates. So the little bat goes right there. The little leaf goes with that one right there. The heart goes right there. And then the snowflake that I already have open goes with that little guy right there. So you can see there's a little snowflake and then two more larger snowflakes. Same idea, actually. They've got three different sizes of leaves, snowflakes, hearts, and bats. And the baby ones are the ones that go with the punches. So these punches are just so cute. Like I'm wanting to just punch these little guys out, um, especially the snowflakes. I've been using these a ton with our uh, glimmer paper, like our... Um, 
oh, what is it? Whatever the white glimmer paper is called. I can't have shimmer glimmer paper. Um, I've been using that a ton and just punching little snowflakes out and putting them on cards just to add a little something extra. So, hey, Zena, how are you? I'm glad you could join us. So, okay, we're gonna scoot these little babies back out of the way because we don't need them for. So this first card, and you may recognize the layout a little bit because I wanna show you. I loved this idea. So this was a card um, that we made at our Simple Beautiful card class a couple of months ago, and I cased it from Erica Serwin at Pink Buckaroo Design. She actually designed this for us. Uh, I think it was a creative convention that we had um, back in uh, September, so it's been a while. But I loved this simple layout, and I thought it was great that you could use, like I said, the little leaves that are right here, and then she actually used that leaf also in the stamping, and then same layout with the snowflakes, right? You could do something fun with the bats, too, for Halloween time. You could do very similar cards. So I love just the simple layout of this, and... This is another um, kind of tip I want to give you guys too, because you know you probably have lots of cards in your stash, and the ones that really like jump out at you um, that you're like, oh, I just love that card. A lot of times it's even just the layout that you love. So use that layout again with new products. Um, you know you can see it's obviously very similar, um, but it's a great way to kind of get you started on making some new cards too. <laughs> yes, you're still full from Thanksgiving. I hear you, Vina. Oh my goodness. Yeah, normally um, I eat like a bigger breakfast and today I did not even want to do that. I'm like, okay, I'm holding out till lunch, lunch, dinner at this point. So <laughs> yeah, still full. I hear you. I hear you. So, okay. I'm going to show you guys simple, simple card. I did definitely keep these simple um, because I didn't have a lot of time to prep for my Facebook live this week. I was trying to scramble to get other things done. And then with Thanksgiving yesterday, right, that kind of takes a whole day plus out of your, out of my prep time. So, so, okay, here we go, ladies. But for me, simple works great. And hopefully, if you're watching, you probably feel the same way as well. Um, you know, you don't have to go crazy with your, uh, you know, all the details and things. If you want to, that's awesome. But I think simple, simple works really well, too. So, okay, here we go. We have all of our parts and pieces. Um, I'm going to give you measurements. <clears throat> So we start with, this is a Coastal Cabana piece of cardstock, our eight and a half by 11, right? So along the 11 inch side, we cut it at five and a half inches. And then along the eight and a half inch side, we scored it at four and a quarter inches, right? <laughs> Thank you, Linda. <laughs> I appreciate that. I know the simple, well, it's easy because then if you want to make a bunch of them, you can do that too, right? Okay, so there's your card base. Actually, we put a piece of Whisper White cardstock inside that measures four inches by five and a quarter inches. And actually, while I'm thinking about it, I will have the measurements for everything that we're using, you know, all the pieces for this card on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com. That'll happen um, after Facebook live today okay then we also have this is a piece of cannot stop using still cannot stop using the let it snow designer series paper love the little sparkle on the hats right we're going to use this side because we've got the little let it snow um, sentiment that we're using so this piece I wanted to make sure yep this one is three and five eighths by three and five eighths because this piece of real red cardstock is just a teeny tiny bit bigger at three and three quarter by three and three quarter so square three and three quarter by three and three quarter three and five eighths by three and five eighths okay so that's just gonna layer right on there the only other measurement you need is just this little piece it's a little half inch wide by three inches long piece of real red cardstock and we're gonna emboss this with our little sweater knit embossing folder so I'm going to grab my die cutting machine. We're going to do that. Okay, so I have my regular platform. I have my super cute, the winter knit embossing folder. And I wanted, I was trying to kind of get it lined up. We're going to do it. I'm gonna, I, I want to just get it even, so I don't, I don't want it to be crooked. I'm trying to make it straight. And I want to see, because I think I used, I don't know, can you guys see those, the little that little um, sweater knit right there, but this time we're gonna use a little bit further down. Let's see what this one looks like. As long as it, I think I had a problem too. It kept wanting to like move around on me. So I'm gonna try to get that right on there. You have to use the, excuse me, that shook that a lot, didn't it? Sorry about that. The blue embossing folder plate. 
um, that, that's for the 3D embossing folders. I will have the item code for that too. And it is in the next catalog because right now it's not in any catalog. It's not in the occasion or it's not in the holiday catalog. It's not in the annual catalog, but it will be featured in our next occasions catalog. Um, but in the meantime, I have the item code. And if you even search, um, if you go to stampinup.com and just type in blue embossing plate or embossing plate, it's going to come up. So ha, let's see. Oh, yay. You're making snowman cards today. Awesome, Denise. Very cute. The paper is so, so fun. Yes, it is. Okay, so there we go. We got another little, just a teeny tiny little strip there that we embossed, right, with that sweater knit. Okay, and I think, let's see, we are ready to, I'm like, where did my card go? I kind of got everything, it's flitting all around here. Okay, we are going to actually stamp. So, I need my little scrap piece here too. So here we go. We are going to use our Coastal Cabana ink because I stamped a couple of um, snowflakes right in the corner of that Whisper White piece that goes on the inside. Okay, so we are going to use, this is the biggest snowflake. I wanted you guys to see all of the different snowflakes. Super duper cute, super duper cute, right? We're going to eh, maybe put that one right there. And then here's the little baby one that goes with the punch, okay? So can you guys see, aren't those fun? I love snowflakes, especially with that in that pretty coastal cabana, right? Okay, so that piece goes on the inside of our card. Then I have just, this is just a little strip of, I think I can get rid of this. Nope, I can't yet. Um, coastal cabana cardstock as well with our coastal cabana ink. And we are just gonna ink, I'm trying not to push too hard, um, ink up, did I use two? I did use three, yep, okay, there we go. So we have three of the little snowflakes, Coastal Cabana ink on Coastal Cabana cardstock. And actually, let's see, we're gonna keep that one open because I need a strip. This is just kind of a scrap piece of Whisper White cardstock. With my real red ink, I'm gonna stamp. This is the Let It Snow. Just nice, easy, tap, tap, tap. You don't wanna press too hard because then, then you get ink all over and you don't need it all over but i want to press firmly okay that looks good there i think we are done with our red ink so i'm going to get that one out of the way so i don't get ink all over myself right so i want this let it snow to kind of be down in the bottom and i'm gonna what i have found you can kind of squeeze this a little bit to hold it in place and move it where you like get it centered okay i'm gonna pop that out this is the story label punch too. So I'll have um, that item code at gatheringinspiration.com too, if you need to know that. Okay, so we're gonna put a couple more of these little snowflakes. We're just gonna stamp them right on there. So, <laughs> hey Betty, how are you? I'm glad you like this, Susie, thank you. These are so cute. It's these teeny tiny little stamps and punches, I think, that are so cute, right? Okay, so now we can get rid of that little scrap piece. Scoot that. All right, I think we are ready to put things together. Where is my adhesive? Right here, okay. I'm gonna move those stamps out of the way too. All right, we're gonna punch those in a sec. Okay, so here we go. We are gonna put some adhesive on the back, and I'm gonna add a little bit more than I normally would, because this has um, the shimmeriness on it, and it tends to not maybe stick quite as well. So I use more adhesive to make sure that one sticks down there. Oops, and that's a little crooked, so you can always pick it back up and move it where you like. Make sure, because we have just that little bit of, man, I'm not doing very well here. I need my glasses maybe, which I think they're buried in my purse. I'm all like packed up and ready to go. So I can't even get to those quickly and easily. That's all right. Okay, so again, we're gonna use a little bit more adhesive to make sure that piece sticks on our card front. And the nice thing about this is it can go any way you like. The snowflakes, right? There's no top, bottom, sideways. <laughs> hey, Susan, how are you? Oh my gosh, all these new people joining us. Thank you guys so much. This is so fun to have some new friends on here today that maybe aren't able to watch normally, right? Hopefully everybody's just kind of relaxing, having a good Thanksgiving weekend at this point, right? Okay, so we're gonna add that little piece. We're gonna pop him on maybe right about there. And then we're actually gonna use dimensionals for our sentiment. So let me grab those. Okay, we're gonna pop these little babies right on here. So simple, simple, right? 
Okay, we got, we're just gonna put that little baby, maybe right about there. And then now we need our little punches, right? We're gonna add just a couple of little accents here. Oh my goodness, I can barely see that. Can you guys see it? Probably not, huh? Okay. All right, looks good. I was like, did I get the snowflake in there very well? And you know, honestly, I don't think it's really even going to matter if you are a little bit off. Okay, so cute little punches. You need these little, the little baby punches. They're just so fun. Okay, so actually I do want to grab my little silicone craft sheet again. I put adhesive on the back of these. So use your little craft sheet, silicone craft sheet here, because then if you run off the edge, it doesn't stick all over your little work paper. Okay, so here we go. We are going to put one right down there, and then we're gonna put one there, and maybe one there. And then, you guys know I love my holiday rhinestones. This is another, hey Diana, I'm just seeing you're popping on here too. I had a great Thanksgiving. Thank you, I hope you had a great Thanksgiving too. Uh, okay, little holiday rhinestone basic jewels. Um, oh, all of a sudden I was like, do I have the red? Yes, we're gonna use the red rhinestones. So there's a lighter blue, you guys can see, right? It's kind of a dark navy. A red and a kind of an orangey yellow color. So I keep saying you can bend these colors to whatever you need them to be. Let's see. Sometimes I think it's easiest for me to just use my fingers. Although you know what? I made a boo-boo there because my, um, all right, we're gonna have to get rid of that one. I can see my glue dot didn't come off. So maybe that's why you shouldn't um, just use your fingers on these things, but I tend to. Sometimes I'll use my snips and if I can find my um, take your pick tool, <laughs> I might use that too, but it's kind of, it's lost right now. I don't know where it is. So <laughs> I'm glad you didn't miss us, Susan. So, okay. So just super fun, simple, cute, love, right? The little snowy designer series paper with our sentiment. Let it snow, right? Okay. Oh, actually, hold on. Let's put the inside in, right? With those pretty um, snowflakes on there. Okay. I'm going to add our adhesive here. We're going to pop the inside so then you can write whatever you like your beautiful message to friends and family on the inside of your card okay so super duper cute right so and again you could make for any season really with this two every season um stamp set and then the cute little punches that coordinate right okay so there is card number one all right scooting stuff out of the way Let's see, actually, you know what I should do? Here, let me show you. This is like recovery, maybe, um, if I can get that picked up. So we're gonna try to put that little baby back on our glue dot. There, now I can use it again later. So there we go, shoo. All right, all good, all good. We're gonna get stuff out of the way. And let's get that centered back in there so you guys can see that host code. Gotta get my little bits out of the way. Okay, so you guys, I'm excited to show you this other one too. So this features um, more of just the punches. Actually, I used um, a different stamp set. I'll show you guys that in just a sec, but here. So where's my little note about where I got this from? Okay, so Stampin' Up! every month, my little scribble note here, right? Sends us an email with an event of the month idea. And these were the cute little, hey, Sheila, how are you? Um, cute little cards that were in the event of the month idea from Stampin' Up. And I loved, so I saw, of course, oops, that little guy got kind of scooched around there. So I saw the little punches that they used and I thought, oh my gosh, I know, aren't these so cute? They're adorable. Yes, they are, Vina. So these are the little uh, Whisper White three by three note cards that are basically just a piece of our thick Whisper White cardstock that measure five by seven and then you score it at three and a half. So you can get these cards already all made, which is awesome Then you don't have to cut and score them and then they give you the little baby envelopes too so i guess that's why you have to order them this way because then you get the coordinating envelopes right so there's that envelope and i had to show you guys these envelopes too because i used more of which one are we looking at here oh this one goes there right okay i'm spoiling a little bit of my surprise but here are a couple of the little leaves oh yeah from so yeah, I did use this stamp set, the two every season stamp set. I used those little leaves right there on the envelope. And then the coordinating little leaf punches, we punched out with some of, this is our Bright's Designer Series paper in, um, 
Why am I drawing a blank on this? Is that pumpkin pie? No. This is Mango Melody. I knew, I was like, I don't think that's pumpkin pie. Mango Melody, um, the green, Granny Apple Green and Daffodil Delight. And then this is sponged. I kind of went crazy with the sponging. I'll, sh I'll show you, we're gonna do that in just a sec. Um, but just the cute little, oh, I love, and I crinkled them up too, so they kind of look like really falling leaves, right? So this is a fun from our home to yours. So, and this is my other, I love this stamp set too, the Everything Festive stamp set. So you can see there's the from our home to yours right and then these are strips of granny apple green designer series paper okay so that's one of them that they featured and then the next one I gave you that sneak peek the Mary and bright so again from the everything festive stamp set there's your Mary and bright stamp right this time we used some of oops, the little snowflakes punch those babies out right added some rhinestones they did not have those and I was like oh I just have to add a little something more and then sponged coastal cabana ink back there granny apple green and poppy parade um, uh, designer series paper on there and then this is poppy parade ink so yeah you love the large stamps too i know philomena because they just make it so easy to make like cute little cards like this right and then here is that coordinating envelope with more of those little um snowflakes on there so okay these are two of them and then they showed us one more so that's what i'm going to share with you guys today is how to make the third card and i don't even have it i was i have to remember how they put it together and i think i can do it It'll, it'll be close enough if it's not exactly. So, okay. But it'll be, the, it's the same idea as what we have on those other two cards. So I'll give you a little hint. We used hearts because, you know, around the corner is Valentine's Day, right? So we use the cute little hearts on our envelope, right? And then, actually, let me give you um, some sizes of things too. Okay, because I don't know if I did that yet. So like I said, this is one of the note cards that measures five by seven and then scored at three and a half. They make these for us. So you don't even have to do these, right? Um, can I mail that size card? I feel like you could. Um, but you know what, Linda, I guess you would probably want to check with your post office just to be sure. But I feel like, I feel like I've gotten, you know, like even the kind of pre-made thank you cards. I feel like you can buy those little cards and, um, mail them also. I, I'd be, I'm going to say I'm 90% positive that you can mail these, but I would maybe check with your post office just to be sure. Or you can probably go to usps.com. I don't know, and search for sizing of, of mailable items, I would say. So uh, yes, you, you could make a lot of cards very quick, which sometimes is what you need to do, right, Denise? Yes. <laughs> oh, good. Philomena says, yes, I have mailed them. Awesome. Thank you guys for helping each other out. That is so cute. I love that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, okay. So for this card, we are using, this is a little piece of Melon Mambo. And you guys have seen this, right? Our designer series paper. This is part of the Brights pack. So we've got, um, Nikki says, yep, I have two. Okay, good. Um, so this is Melon Mambo, kind of gingham on one side and then kind of diamond shape on the other side. So we're going to use the gingham. And then this one is pretty pink. So this is from the Subtles. So this one has the little um, cursive writing on one side and then the little mosaic pattern on the other side. So all of our these are all six by six packs of designer series paper that come in the brights, the subtles, those are two, right? Regals, neutrals, and then both of our in colors. And it's all this same pattern, right? So those two on one side and those two patterns on the other side. Okay, so great little pack of paper to make. And you know, then you can get a, you could make a bunch of these cards um, when you cut this paper like this because it's six by six, which is maybe a little bit small sometimes, um, but not when you use just little strips here, right? Okay, so we've got that. What I want to show you guys, and actually I'm going to pull my little baby back out here, is the sponging. If you guys haven't done, I haven't sponged in a long time. And yes, you're right, Linda, this year's designer series paper is awesome. Although it's funny, I think most every year it's pretty darn awesome. <laughs> I'm partial to it for sure. So, okay, so to do the sponging, let me make sure. So this is actually a half a sponge. So I will cut um, these like in six pieces. So literally I cut it down the center, you know, so that was a whole piece, right? And then I kind of cut it like um, pizza pie, right? So you could cut another one right there. I'll do that later when I'm ready to use it. But I just use like a little corner 
Um, one sixth of a sponge, so you can get just a million sponges out of these things, right? Then, where is my little label punch? I'm gonna use, this is called the Timeless Label Punch. And I am gonna punch out some of, because I'm gonna stamp with uh, Petal Pink ink. So I wanna make sure I put a little kind of label on it so I remember what color is on that little sponge later, right? So I like to label it with one of these little label punches. And I'm gonna just kind of eyeball that, fold it in half, and then I've got my little stapler. And I'm just gonna put this right on here and I'm gonna staple it on there. And I cut that pretty small. I would maybe suggest cutting it next time a little bit bigger, but that's gonna work because this is all you really need. So then you have this little tabby guy, right? So I just stapled that on there. And then you can use your petal pink ink. And this one's probably gonna take some sponging because it's a pretty light ink. So I'm gonna ink that up and I'm gonna kind of do that right in the center. And yeah, I can barely see that. This is kind of what happened with my yellow card though. Like I think the light was dim or something because I kept thinking, oh, I can't really see it very well. And then I kept adding and adding and this went a little like over the top, right? This one is a little more subtle. That yellow, woo, that was pretty crazy. I, I think I like that a little bit. There's still some serious blue going on there, right? But it's not quite as powerful. So this pale pink though, we're gonna have to, and I think it's better to just kind of dab on there a couple times and rub it around in a circle. And you can see how it kind of catches some of like the grain, sorry if that's wiggling things, um, the grain in the paper where it kind of catches a little more ink, but that's okay. It's not supposed to be uh, perfect, right? That's the idea is just kind of add a little subtle color and background. Are you guys seeing that? And I think it's better, especially like if you were gonna use a melon mambo, I would just tap a little bit and rub a little bit because you never know how much ink you have, right, in your ink pad and you don't wanna have a big glob of it somewhere. So definitely with the darker colors, you're just gonna wanna tap a little bit and add and you can always add more. You obviously cannot take it off once you've done that. So I think that's good. We have just kind of a little smudgy um, petal pink ink on there. <laughs> Yes, I know. Well, Diana, I love, and I'll even actually, um, you know, like the little packages that everything comes in, I'll put these in a little package and sometimes I'll even write myself a note about what the name is. Or you could even write it right on there too. So, because I have a huge tub of them. I'm sure there's a much more organized way to do it. But I have these in little plastic baggies with little sticky notes and they're all just dumped in a tub. So then I have to kind of rifle through. But I knew I didn't have a petal pink one. So I want to show you guys how to do that. So just kind of a simple little tip there. Okay, so now another fun thing I wanna show you guys, cause I haven't done this in a long time either, is to stamp. I'm gonna show you guys how with this PS I Love You, I wanna use two different inks on this stamp. So I wanna do the PS I Love You in the Melon Mambo. I'm gonna use my marker and then I want this arrow to be in black. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that too. Let's scoot those over there though so I don't lose them. Okay. So I have, this is just a little piece of Whisper White cardstock that measures two and a half by two inches. And again, all the dim dimensions will be right on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com. Okay, so, oh, where's the other? Oh, I know what I did. Oh, I was like, what, how did I do this? So I was looking for my Melon Mambo um, uh, marker, which would be another way you could do this, but this is, I think it might even be a little bit more fun. So we're gonna ink up our stamp fully in Melon Mambo ink. Okay, so I'm just gonna open that baby up. Okay, we're gonna do our nice easy tap, 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 right? So I've got that inked all over, right? Then, this is the fun part, okay? We are going to use, this is one of our blender pens, right? And I do want this back my little scrap paper here. So what we're gonna do is with our blender pen, I'm gonna take off that pink ink. I really wish I had my glasses now. So you're just gonna kind of rub your blender pen on here until you get the ink off and you're basically just removing this ink. So the other way that you could do this is to ink everything except what I'm taking off here with your Melon Mambo marker and then separately, there we go. 
um, take off uh, or add the black ink with your marker. But I thought this was kind of a fun little thing to show you, especially if it's super detailed and you think it might be easier. Like this is this is kind of tricky right here. I'm trying to take my pink ink off. And I think the black, that's the one thing that's kind of good is using that dark black ink is gonna help us pull that off a little bit, or well, cover it up. I shouldn't say pull it off, it's gonna cover up what we've done. Okay, so I think we are good there, yep. And I always like to make sure I've gotten all my ink off. So even though that's stained fairly pink, if you can see that, it's not any longer. It's just it's just stained, but it's not holding the color. So you can color with these both ends. You can see this one, eh, it's a little gray on the one tip, but these work wonderfully. Okay, so now though we're gonna use, this is my basic black marker, and I'm gonna add back on right here we're gonna put our black and you know what I wonder if I should have kept that heart too late now we're gonna have a black heart on this one I have another one and I don't even want to look at it right now because I'm afraid my eyes will go funny um, in one sec I'll show you that one maybe I'll like that one better who knows but we're just adding the black ink and I'm using the fat tip of the marker too okay so we're gonna add that back in I'm gonna put my cap on there to get that out of the way. And then I am going to huff on here. So just literally like, you know, hot air huff. And that kind of re-moistens that ink because it's been a little while, right? Since um, I added that Melon Mambo ink. And let's see, how did I do here? Okay. Hey, all right, I did it. And actually, okay, so here's the other one. And I think I might like this one better. I kind of forgot about this. You know, my brain's a little bit foggy. I'm gonna call it like turkey head or something. <laughs> so here's the one that I didn't, I didn't take the pink off of the heart, which I think I do like that better. So I just made the arrow in black. And then here's the other one. Plus that one's a little bit crooked. So we're going with this one. This is the one I just did. Woo pretend, right? <laughs> so, but yeah, that's the idea. And do you see how well that works, right? You guys can kind of get right in there. So you see, I took all the pink off and then added the black. So very fun, huh? You can do it. So either two markers or if you, and the other thing, it's maybe a little more cost effective, right? Because you probably have a bunch of the ink pads, but maybe not all the markers. So mark it all or ink it all up with your stamp, right? With your, in this case, Melon Mambo stamp, take it off with your blender pen, and then you can add your black in any, you know, black. These, these are sold separately too, where the, um, say the Brights markers are in like a pack of 10. So, you know, anyway, but if you want to get all the markers, definitely do that because they're fun to use for this sort of thing too. Okay. So it's just a couple simple little tips and tricks there for you guys today. Uh, you know, Thanksgiving after, after Thanksgiving, right? Okay. Where's my hair? We want this little baby crafter math. It's here, ladies. It's here. Okay. So I want to use, I think I liked, now I'm trying to remember. I think I liked those two, right? Yeah, better than, okay. So we're gonna flip these over. I'm using my little craft sheet because I've kind of got these little strips. Did I tell you? I don't think I gave you measurements on these. These little strips measure four inches and then this is three quarters. So three quarters of an inch by four inch is what we have here, okay? So I'm gonna add my adhesive there. All right, so we're just gonna put these, and I kind of put them, let's make sure the writing's not upside down. I think I did that the other night on accident. Put one there and maybe one right about there. And then we're gonna add our PS I love you. We're gonna pop this little guy up on some dimensionals. Okay. Do that right there, okay. Popping these little backings off and, oops. Ooh, we get things flinging all over the place. Okay, let's see. We're gonna put that right about there. Then we need our little heart punch. So we're gonna use that little baby. And we're gonna add a couple more. There's that one and that one. And I did wanna show you, here's the little um, stamped, right? The little image, the little heart image stamped the two every season stamp and then punched with our little heart punch so you can stamp if you want you don't have to in this case i did not and then okay let's see we are going to i think i want to pop these up on some mini dimensionals this time 
So we're going to do that, and we're going to kind of put them just around our sentiment. Okay. All right, so we're going to put one maybe right there. And then these other guys, maybe we'll put one there. And then one more little baby. These things are a little tough to uh, pull off. There we go. And you know what? I'm like, okay, I have to add a little bit of sparkle. There's just something for me about um, these rhinestones. I just have to add a little bit of bling to my project. Maybe put one, I don't know, I'm gonna put two. Mm, no, nope, that's not gonna work. You know, you can just put them wherever you like. There, that's it, right there. There we go. Do you see how when I didn't press too hard, I could kind of pick it up and move it too? That's a, a nice little tip to remember. So there we go. Aren't those cute? So can you guys see here all three of them? So thank you to Stampin' Up! for giving me this fun little idea to share with you guys today that features, right? So we've got the Everything Festive stamp set kind of big and bold here, right? And then on the envelopes, I use the little two every season stamp set, right? And then the little baby punches, our little punch right here that we used on our hearts. So super cute, fun bundle, the two every season stamp set and the every season punch pack. These, you're gonna love just adding these little punches to lots of different projects. They just add a little something fun, you know, when you need just a little something more. And these only require a little something to begin with, right? But if you have a bigger card that you just need a little something on, maybe you need a little leaf, a little heart, a little snowflake. So yeah, so thank you guys so much much for joining me today I'm trying to find my other card so don't forget and I was trying to decide am I gonna send you know what I'm gonna do it I will send you all four of these cards if you put your online order in between now and December 13th and use this host code the 3hq4 GTQE. Okay, so use that host code order online. You're going to get all four cards. Your name is going to go in the drawing to win the greatest part of Christmas stamp set. And if you bump your order up to at least $50, you are going to get a full, not a, not a crazy cut package, but a full package of the new champagne rhinestones. Maybe you guys can see these. Aren't those? Oh, I love these rhinestones. I love all of them, clearly, right? I love the, the regular rhinestones. I love the holiday rhinestones. Now I'm going to love the champagne rhinestones. So yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching. And don't, oh, you know what? I forgot to mention, uh, go blue ladies. Michigan played basketball yesterday and they beat uh, number six ranked North Carolina. Sorry if there are any North Carolina fans out there. They're playing to again today at two o'clock. Um, I'm trying to remember. I can't even remember who they're playing. And then football. We have Michigan football tomorrow too against Ohio State. And we have not beaten Ohio State in a lot of years. So I'm super excited. <laughs> Hopefully, maybe this will be the year, right? So, all right, say prayer for those Wolverines and go blue. And you guys have a great weekend, a great couple of weeks. And I will see you right back here on Friday the 13th, Friday, December 13th for our next Facebook Live. So thank you guys so much for watching, hanging out, enjoying the day today with me. And I hope you have a great rest of your weekend and a good couple of weeks to come. So we'll see you soon. Bye, everybody. Thank you.